Yeah, that's better. <laughs> that's so light. Is it better? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. It's probably fall off halfway. What's that look like? Phil looks Oh, yeah, that's so much better. I can't even remember how I started it now. Hello, everybody. I thought I'd do a series on a university guide telling you how I cope with things, the best way I go about doing essays, how I plan for essays, and how I fit it around my training for powerlifting. As a lot of you know, I'm at university myself at Cardiff Met, studying sport and exercise science. The first video in this series is my university guide to coping with stress. Number one, organise. I know everybody will say this, and the people just keep going on and on about organisation, but I promise you, it's the best thing you can do. The first way I organise myself is with a calendar. I have three calendars around the room. I'll video you them and I'll show you them. Yes, I do have calendars, but unfortunately I have not changed them yet to February. So I'll go around and do that now. most useful calendar is the student planner by uni days and as you can see this one's completely filled out I use this to help organize when I have essays due in when my lectures are when I've got free time so I know I can do stuff to relax and when I have competitions so I know when I'm busy and when I'm free I feel this helps me stress less because I know when I have things and I know when to plan ahead and get things done when I have lots to do. The second part of organisation is to organise yourself for the day at uni. So in the evenings I like to get my clothes out all ready and pack my bag so I know exactly what I have and what I need for that day. For example if I have training I'll pack my bag with my belt in, shoes and everything I need for the gym. For some lectures you need to do work in advance so I'll get that all printed off and put in my bag. I just feel like this helps you sleep better because you're relaxed because everything's already done. My second point is to eat well. I always feel so much better when I'm eating healthy so I always make sure I have a good breakfast. I normally have oats and I try and eat a lot of fruit and veg. I know a lot of students skimp out on that but it really doesn't cost much to get a pack of bananas and just have one in the morning. I just feel so much more energised and happy knowing I'm eating well and also try and have like broccoli and carrots with my dinner just to sort of get a bit in in the evening. My third point and this is the one that I need to work on is don't take on too much. I feel like I have definitely taken on too much at university. I do powerlifting which is sort of an external thing to uni although I do have the training at uni. I have external competitions where I have to go away and then I have cheerleading which is through university and I have training twice a week for three hours. So this means that a lot of my free time has been taking up. I deal with this by making sure that I plan everything else so I do have time, free time to do things that I want to do. And I also know when to say no. And this is a big thing a lot of people need to learn to be able to do. Being able to say no to it, extra things, for example, like when people want help with their dissertations, it may only be an hour or two hours, but if that's the only free hour you have in the day, then it's an hour that you need yourself to do what you want to do. I even find that an extra hour means I can have a nap in the middle of the day if I've got training in the evening. I think that people need to realise at university you don't need to go out every night when everybody else is going out. They won't even notice you're there or not there because they'll be so drunk the next day they won't remember anything anyway. It's not all about going out. I know it's fun and I feel like I appreciate it more when I do go out because it's sort of a more special occasion so it's more fun and everybody else is happy that I'm out. My fourth point is to budget. This is a massive thing for me because when I started university I didn't have any savings, I didn't have any extra money to splash around and I did spend an awful lot of money in my first year and put myself in a very tricky situation. I was okay, I didn't get an extra loan but I did worry and was getting close to zero pounds. So I just feel the best way to budget is to get yourself a budget organiser. I know that Polly does one and I'll put a link in the description to hers. It's really good. Or there's lots of apps you can get on your phone where you can put in your receipts and just keep track. 
the best way I find to budget is I do online food shopping. I alternate between Iceland and Tesco's and get one every week. And I spend about 15 to 20 pounds a week on food. And if you know that, you can add that all up and times it by how many weeks you've got left at uni. A lot of you will be in halls or you'll know how much your rent is. So I always keep a bit extra put away for the rent so I know I've always got that. So I hope this helps some of you. I know I wish I had a few of these pointers before I started university and I know a lot of you will be going or you'll already be there. So I hope it helps. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any requests as to what you want me to talk about about university or my experience of going or being here, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. Bye.